Job this morning. Go ahead. I desire your word yeah. more than necessary food. Yes. yes. More than anything. Yes. And like Jeremiah said, yes. thy word I did find. Huh? He didn't just find it. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 15, 16 said, Yeah, word, I did find. Not, not only just he just find it and not oh he said thy word I heard in church. <laughs> no. <laughs> he said, no. He said, I did eat it. And it was a joy and rejoicing of my heart. This is what he wants to do. That yeah, you can have a joy and rejoicing in your heart as you read the scriptures. Right? As you go through the letter. But then as you as as you allow the Holy Spirit to saturate you and stir you up, put on the jumper cables in your spirit, and bring you into a, a Bible study that's in depth, then all of a sudden, out of that encounter, out of that intimacy, there's a fruit of expectation that, that comes out of you. Well, where's my expectation? Well, you left something out. Well, I studied. You still left something out. I pray. You still left something out. Intimacy. <coughs> Amen. Amen. I want to be intimate. You have to tell God, God, God I'm cold. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Something going on. But we like, yeah, it ain't like he don't know. It's just like he knew that they weren't in the garden no more. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Adam, where you at? Like God lost them. No, no, I want you, he was saying, I want you to be accountable for your dysfunction. That's what he was telling us. I want you to be accountable for not being in the right place. When you're accountable for not being in the right place, then you can change. Then you can get redemption. Then you can understand that God is getting ready to turn things around. But until you say, yeah, I'm jacked up, I'm messed up, you know what, I'm having a bad hair day. <laughs> you know, I really ain't feeling this today. I don't want to be at work. I don't want to be around people. I don't want to come to church. You know, I ain't offended when people tell me they're tired of church. I ain't offended. Huh? Should be tired. Yeah, I'm going to go there, but yeah. I mean, I'm just talking about it in the domestic sense. Just, you know, don't want to be in the building. Not the concept, but I'm saying that's okay to me. It's not it's not acceptable, but it's okay. I can meet you there. I trust God. Because sometimes we say things out of frustration that we really don't mean. Majority of the time. Amen. While we're searching in reverse. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we do. I don't know. Let me move on. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we need to know, say, my God, you know what, God? I need something new. I, I am, I'm not going to wait for 2020. 2020. I'm, I want something new now. I want you to. I got the stale bread. I got the stale understanding. I got the scales on my eyes. My ears need to be circumcised. My heart still needs to be worked on. I just need something. And God is saying, I want your, I want your commitment. I want you to come up from another level in your faithfulness. I want you to cleave hard after me. I want and God is saying, I want you to be like David. I set the Lord at my right hand. I should not be moved. So you got to get away from your variables because that's what I'm telling you. Most of us are trying to build on variables. You can't build on variables. You got to build on build on absolutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the absolutes are found in scriptures because it reiterates God's nature and God's expectation for our life. 